This is the energy vibration reading for the Taurus and Moon and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support you Tauruses have, have been given to me. Um, thank you again for um, the wonderful card deck that, that you have offered for everyone. So I hope you saw the review. Thank you so much. This week is the week of the Tauruses. So let's see what is happening. You're vibrating in the energy of the hair and the energy of the hurt. So zodiac energy of the hurt. So let's see what is going to be transpiring, because this is the first week of um, May, and in the first week of May, yeah, this week I haven't been feeling that well. So the mm -hmm, monthly cards uh, and, and and that sort of a thing. So um, I'm a little bit tired. I think it's the energy that is in this week. So not to worry. I'm trying to get these readings out as soon as possible. So let's see what is happening for you, Tauruses. On Monday, you have the energy of the Three of Wands. So some of you, Taurus, are going to be leaving a situation behind um, that you have been dealing with in the month of April and you're looking for something much better and these situations so whenever we decide to leave things behind we're always looking out for something good there's news that is coming in this is um, good on Tuesday so whatever you're leaving behind news is coming in on Tuesday on Wednesday you have the energy of the night um, the night of once that is coming in on Wednesday so um, this could be a message from the night of once and then there is good news on Thursday so Thursday center um, of your week is going to be positive because good news will be coming in then we have the energy of the hermit on Friday so Friday is a day that you are going to be looking within to find out certain things then we have the two of cups the energy of the two of cups so this is going to be also a wonderful energy so a good news could be coming from um, um, a message from the lovers okay so not bad for you Tauruses and you have the energy of the king of swords in reverse so this um, is wonderful having the king of swords in the reverse finally 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 so let's see what you believe in behind and what energies will be coming up for you um, a regret of something so um, you, you you have regret something and you're leaving it behind it could be that you have gotten yourself in a situation with someone um, you felt as if this person wasn't being honest and that sort of a thing but you still go ahead and now you have some regrets and you're leaving this behind it is much better to just leave that behind because whatever the situation was it was not meant to be okay so let's look and see there are information that is going to be coming at you and this information could be um, um, you're looking within at this situation and thinking um, you know I saw the red lines I should have just listened to myself or else I wouldn't be feeling like this now and sometimes um, we are in situations or sometimes we get ourselves in situations and then afterwards we're regretting it because it's as if we knew that the situation was not good it was not the right situation it was not good for us but yet still we still go ahead and now we're having some regrets Let's see what is coming out with the energies of um, the information from the Knights of Wands. Um, it's a good thing. So number two. So this is going to be a good week for you, Tauruses, because whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, whatever that is coming out, there's a message that is coming from um, the Knight of Wands, and this could be that some of you are going to be connected with this person. So whoever this person is this person is um, uh, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and you could be connected with this person because the two of cups and obviously whatever is transpiring sorry I have my hair all over my face whatever is transpiring 
it is a positive situation but it's as if things or situations are not right it's, it's as if it's not the right time whatever is transpiring it's as if it's not the right time there's so many things that is going on so let's see what is going to be the center of your week um that this week is going to be a week for that is going to have an effect on the people 25 years and older okay so it's going to have an effect on people 25 years and older okay um you guys are some of you are connected with an Taurus no an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay and a Pisces cancer and a scorpion these people seems to be coming in some of you are going to be receiving message from an uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarian and it's a message of love or a message of connecting in business or a message of a offer that is coming in some of you maybe I've decided to leave whatever this was in the past and now this person is coming up in the middle of the week of texting or um, calling or you know trying to contact you in some form some of you are going to be connecting with someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this is a good connection um, it's going to be turning out in a very positive love relationship okay then we have the king of swords I thought he was going to be in the reverse form but he is here and the night the night of um, whoever these young people are because they're between the ages of 25 and 45 they are going to be coming in whoever is this knight of swords they're going to be bringing you news about this knight of swords they're going to be telling you something about this knight of swords it's knight of sword has tried to do something okay it's as if he 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 has tried to come between you and your um, husband wife or partner but you're going to be victorious over this you are going to be extremely extremely victorious over this and this is going to be good okay so let's see what is the connection what information are you because some of you are deciding to leave a relationship behind this is a relationship it's uh, it can be a relationship can be a business contract it can be um, work that you're deciding to leave it behind because you have also the three you begin weeks with um, you thinking about leaving something behind and you you know you go within to think about the situation and think you know let me move forward alone okay because it has to do with a relationship some of you have a relationship it could be someone at work someone in your life who you decided it was a friend but you think you know let me let me I'm moving away from this because this is going to cost me a lot of pain and um, let me decide to move away from this and as you move away from this you're going to be understanding why because it's as if um now this has changed the dialogue from this reading because the seven of swords is coming up you're leaving something behind because you felt as if this is a lost cause okay a whole lot of people have been having these relationships reading um, in this week where uh, you know it's either you're, you're leaving you're moving away and you're going on a new journey and it is always as if you're now beginning to move away from something because you're realizing that um, your heart is there but maybe the other person heart isn't there okay so for you Taurus is um, what you're going to have to deal with in this this week is a, a sort of a Casanova lover boy type of person or um, a, a, a type of person who is emotionally not really balanced okay because he's here and it's as if information you're going to be starting to think you know this is not serving any purpose what purpose um, it's as if some of you wanted to be with this person and then you're going to realize that 
you know this is not serving any purpose what, what is the purpose purpose of this It's as if this person is playing a game and you're going to decide I'm leaving this in in the month of April you're leaving it in the month of April coming in May in the first week there is a lot of new opportunities and if you're looking for um, new friendships a new business partner and that sort of a thing it is good but whatever is happening someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran who is over the age of 40 seems to be interfering this person seems to be interfering in a relationship between um, and, and and this is someone who is having an affair with um, your your wife or husband okay this person this Aquarian Gemini or Libran person over the age of 40 is having an affair with your partner and you're going to realize this you're going to um, actually realize this and this is going to come up at the, the end of the week the weekend is a wonderful weekend if you're married if you're in a positive relationship it's going to be extremely extremely positive okay so let's see what is this what is it that you're leaving behind because you felt as if this is a lost cause so let's see what it is that you're leaving behind um, you listen to your inner wisdom listen to your inner wisdom because there's obviously a situation that is going on with your uh, marriage okay um, it's obviously um, listen to your um, uh, listen to your intuition if you feel as if um, your relationship is a, a, a bit imbalanced as if something is right listen to your intuition because it's all about um, money okay it's all about money don't feel heartbroken because whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening because obviously um, there's someone um, that tries to connect or it tries to get involved in your whether you're married or in a long-term relationship there's someone that is trying and it's all about the money it's not really about love um maybe this person feels something but yet still it's all about the money because here it is it is saying listen to your intuition it's all about the money and don't feel heartbreak don't be are broken over this situation because it's all about money it's 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 not real love it's all about the money it's as if this person whoever this person is that is trying to come between you and your um, partner whoever this person is because it is as if some of you are connecting with your twin flame and if it's not if it's not a twin, twin flame relationship it's going to be your marriage that someone um, is trying to um, get involved but it's all about money because it's, 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 it's not really something that they're going to be there for a very long time it's all about to see what is it that I can receive what is it in this relationship that I can receive whatever it is you're going to be victorious and you're going to be um, victorious over the situation and you're going to be release yourself of this because this is it's as if um, a lot of you are as if this is a lost cause because you start out the week with the energy of the two of cups so there's a message that is going to be coming um, to you from someone who is um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian but for some of you you're going to be have to be dealing with um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this person you know really cares about you because the energy of the um, love is really really positive in this week especially um, Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday is, is, is very positive but it's as if there's an outside force and I call this person an outside force because it's someone who wants to disrupt whatever this connection is 
they want to disrupt it they, 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 they don't want this person to be connected because they know that this person really have very strong feelings and here it is that you're seeing and it's just saying listen to your intuition listen to your intuition because it's all about money it's all about money there is um, someone um, this is a lady um, and for the people over the age of 40 you're going to be connecting with a Pisces cancer or a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you're going to be connecting with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this is going to be good good news is about to come from um, someone who is a cancer Pisces or scorpion and um, this lady is coming in with positive news for you guys okay um, love is very strong you're going to be having um, connection with the um, the Pisces cancer scorpion or the Aries Leo or Sagittarius I am not liking this little fella whoever this man is this king of swords that is an Aquarius a Gemini a scorpion I'm not liking his energies it's as if he's very very much disruptive who are you and why are you here money working hard uh, happiness it's, it's all about money it's as if this person is just really being very annoying because for this person is the eight of Pentacles and the princess of Pentacle the princess of water and um, it is it's, it's a thing where as if he is working for someone who is an um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion this person is working for someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and it's it's, it's about money because it's, it's it's as if they're trying to disrupt your life because they're being paid to disrupt your life because they have been yeah they're getting something out of it it's it's monetary um, why they're disrupting your life but whatever is happening there is going to come an end and you're going to uh, receive good news about this and you're going to um, victoriously overcome whatever the situation is with this um, person who is trying to disrupt, disrupt your marriage or relationship I hate when people do that you know just let it be um, listen to your intuition because this is what they're saying listen to your intuition work with your intuition because whatever that has been transpiring know that and it's sometimes it's not because the person maybe the message or the information has not reached someone that you are trying to connect there is there is just a strange sense and some of you are going to decide okay I'm leaving this behind because this is a lost cause and I'm, I'm moving forward and you know by doing that you're going to be victorious because um, you're going to be healing yourself and deciding you know these people are not you know it's a waste of time with these people and I am choosing something better and it's a karmatic situation because we have the energy of the wheel of fortune and the energy of the wheel of fortune is as if someone who is a Pisces cancer or scorpion is going to be bringing in um, the sort of a luck luck is coming in and this person is going to be bringing this in for you let's see what is your financial um, energy in this week and it says I have courage ask for help so call upon the universal angels and guides and ask for help if you're having financial situation in this life in this time um, in this week um, ask for help but it's, it's, it's more of a week of love there's a lot of love um, there's information coming in there some people could be getting office um, and, and and this is going to be good take the office um, if you're someone who prefers to work on your own or um, what's trying to do something on your own and someone comes in and said hey let me help you um, do you want to be partners with me do it 
because it's going to be um, very good it's going to come out very good um, for some of you um, uh, the relationship um, if you're in a long-term relationship people who are married and that sort of a thing if you know people were working against you and didn't want you to connect it's it's not to worry it's still good it's still going to happen okay um, because um, whoever is working against you it's as if the universe is going to come in and move them away out of your life and this is going to be good so I want to say to you guys have a wonderful week and I speak to you next week